As the sun rises on the Northwest Hawaiian Islands, a land of rich biodiversity and history is revealed. On a recent trip to Midway Atoll, a team of hakumele consisting of Snowbird Bento, Cody Pu'eo Pata, Kainani Kahaunaile, Keoni Kuoha, and Mehano Kala Hind created songs and chants about the Papaha Naumokua Kea Marine National Monument and discovered for themselves what makes it such a special place. Oh, we were together in the airport. We knew that we were going to land in a new place and, and that our goal was to, um, to create mele. And I think everyone looked around the circle and was like, okay, well, first off, we need a kahea in order to, to sort of introduce ourselves and, and to properly enter that space. In less than five hours, the Oli Kahea was composed, practiced, and performed upon arriving at the Henderson Airfield in the dark of night. In addition to the Oli Kahea and Oli Pane, the Hakumele, who call themselves the Nu'amanu Traditional Communications Team, created a more contemporary mele. Experiences from the next three days were woven into this mele that tells of Moli, Sunrise, and planting Kavelu and Ko'ali on Midway Atoll. On Midway Atoll, the Moli, or Laysan Albatross, far outnumber the 30 residents of the island. Between October and January, over one million Moli take over the island. With every couple of steps you take, you encounter the magnificent birds. They are a major element of the landscape and are protected on Midway. The Office of Hawaiian Affairs works with NOAA, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and the Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources to co-manage Papahanaumokuakea. Their kuleana includes caring for the natural, cultural, and historic resources in all of the Northwest Hawaiian Islands. Co-management also means supporting um, access by Native Hawaiian groups and, and our uh, community members to not only reconnect to the place but perpetuate practices that are appropriate to the place. Traditional forms of storytelling such as song help people connect to the remote aina and builds understanding and appreciation for the land and its resources for this generation and the next. One thing that we want people to realize is that we are still there, that Hawaii still has influence, Kapoi Kanaka Hawaii still has influence in that place. We want Midway to know whatever it's called, whether it's Kuei Helani or Pihe Manu, we want it to know that we still think about it, that we want that place to know that it still holds a cherished spot in our hearts and that we consider it part of us. Keep an eye out for the future release of the Nu'amanu Mele, the story of an epic journey to Midway Atoll.